the manufacturing of glass bottles. Our story of glass bottles begins in ancient Mesopotamia, in the year 3500 BCE, or BC depending on your religious affiliations. Pottery was the original idea for acting as a bottle. Eventually, the Romans propelled the idea of glass to make various materials such as vessels, mosaic tiles, and window glass or art. The need to carry water in a stylish manner appeared. Thus, we have the Romans to thank for our modern day bar fights. The first stage in the production of glass bottles begins with raw materials. Materials needed to make glass bottles include sand, limestone, soda ash, and yes, cullet. What is cullet, you might ask? Cullet is recycled glass that is used to make new glass. Batching, where the raw materials are individually inspected and put into silos in preparation for mixing. The raw materials are then weighed and mixed, forming a batch. The batch is stored and put into the furnace, where it will begin the melting process. In melting, the mixture is fed via a batch charger. The furnace contains natural gas and air combined to bring the temperature to 1,565 degrees Celsius. You can think of it as a giant pressure cooker. <laughs> now we're cooking. This turns the raw materials into glass. At the end of the cycle, the glass is forced through a ring. In the next stage, the molten glass is cut by shears. This all takes place in the feeder. Careful, these suckers are hot. The shears cut elongated cylinders at precise intervals. These cylinders are called gobs, which have just enough glass to form a bottle. Then, they are moved to the forming machine. In this stage, the bottles begin to take shape, literally. The forming machine shapes the bottles using compressed air. By blowing into the gobs, it fills in a mold, creating then the desired shape of the bottle. At this stage, the bottles are moved through the hot end coating hood, where they are covered with a very thin layer of tin. After the bottle has formed, the outside cools faster than the inside, which can cause stresses in the glass. Annealing is the process by which the bottles are reheated and cooled evenly to relieve these pressures. This process takes place in the leer and usually takes about one hour to cool down to room temperature. After cooling, the bottles are sprayed with a thin layer of polymer to prevent scratching. This coating also aids in the consumer filling line. The bottles are inspected throughout the whole process. No, these people aren't in prison. Here is where the bottles are checked for defects. The bottles that don't meet specifications are rejected and recycled as cullet. From there, they are packaged and shipped ready to be used by beverage companies. I know I've learned a lot. I hope you have too.